Welcome to Scout Dynamics. The recent atrocity in Florida has triggered the gun control debate once again. And it's the same old arguments. We've got to get rid of assault rifles. However, your hunting rifle is okay. Those who seek to ban assault weapons or assault rifles try and tell us that the hunting rifle, they speak of the hunting rifle as though it were harmless. How often have you heard the, a person claiming to be a gun owner say, I own a hunting rifle, but, and then proceeds with the liberal talking points. I don't know about you, personally, anyone who says I own a hunting rifle is not really a firearms enthusiast. Every firearms enthusiast I know of will usually say, I have a Ruger M77 and 270, or I have a Remington Model 700 and 308, or they may go so far or simple to say, I have a bolt action rifle in name your caliber. Next we have the sportsman. The sportsman is a person who truly does own one of these hunting rifles or some other kind of sporting rifle. And they are trying to reach across the aisle and say, hey, yes, I own a hunting rifle or sporting rifle. And I don't see why anyone should ever own a, an assault weapon. Assault rifle, by definition, is select fire. It was designed originally to act as a submachine gun at close range and as a rifle at longer ranges. The gun control people coined the term assault weapon to denote a semi-automatic rifle that is cosmetically altered to look like an assault rifle. In order to represent the hunting rifle, I've once again chosen this Ruger M77 in 270 Winchester. One of the things, or many of the things that make it, the features that fit the politically correct term of harmless hunting rifle, quote unquote, is the fact that it has a fixed magazine limited to four rounds. It is a long action, which will decrease your rapidity of your follow-up shots in a few tenths of a second. Now, any gun control advocate, and you, you've used the term harmless hunting rifle, he's going to say, well, it's not really harmless, but at least fewer people would be killed. There's a couple of problems with this. The FBI has defined a mass shooting as three or more people getting shot in a single engagement. Four round magazine plus one in the chamber. Here we have a potential mass shooter weapon by the FBI's own definition. The FBI defines a mass killing as four or more people killed in a single engagement. Four rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber, potential mass murder weapon by the FBI's own definition. Next, we have someone who's going to say, well, if the mass shooters were carrying one of these hunting rifles instead of an assault rifle, fewer people would have been killed. I don't know about you, but does one really believe that if only four people were killed, that would be considered acceptable? Those who today want to ban the AR-15, but still light on the hunting rifle, would they accept the fact that four people dying is acceptable? Next, again, full power rifle cartridge, in this case 270 Winchester. If I took this rifle and fired it into a crowded hallway full of people at close range, are only four people going to die? Marines who have served in Chozon made the claim that with their M1 Garand and 30 6 firing into a crowded ranks of the Chinese and their human wave of 
assaults were able to penetrate the Chinese ranks 10 deep. There are Marine veterans claiming that one shot killed 10 of the enemy. In a darker tale, one of the horror stories, many horror stories of the Holocaust, there is one that the Nazis would line up their prisoners in very tightly packed single file and were able to execute nine prisoners with a single shot from their 8mm Mauser. Are we to believe that only four rounds fired from any full-powered hunting rifle, any big game rifle, is only going to result in four deaths when fired into a crowd? And finally, is one only going to fire four rounds? Is it really that impossible to fire more than four rounds, or five if you have one in the chamber, with this so-called politically correct harmless hunting rifle? Let's find out. The claim here is that the assault weapon, or assault rifle, can perform a course of fire that cannot be done with a conventional hunting rifle. The average mass shooting lasts three to seven minutes. What I have here are 15 targets at 15 yards. Each target is a half liter or two liter container symbolizing a headshot. Let's see what we can do. I just hit 15 head-sized targets at 15 yards in 65.13 seconds. One minute, five seconds and change. The average mass shooting lasts about three to seven minutes. This is the equivalent of 15 headshots in a little over a minute. Crowd of people, there would have been more than 15 deaths. So, all of you sportsmen out there who think your hunting rifle is harmless, you think you can take your AR 15 brothers and sisters and throw them off the sled and hoping that the wolves of gun control will devour them and be satisfied, move on. They're going to move on, all right. You are next. Be ready to surrender your evil sniper rifle. Thanks for watching. Comments below.